hold on, hold on. <laughs> What's up guys, your boy John Diaz. And today's a different kind of video. It's not really a vlog, it's really dark. There we go. Um, we are doing an install video on my 10th gen Civic and I am being helped by my boy Aaron. What up, it's Aaron S over here up in Sampu. Okay, yeah, that's Aaron. <laughs> um, he's gonna help me out. We're doing a grill LED light mod modification, I guess you could call it. About 10 horsepower. It adds 10 horsepower, supposedly. That's what he says. I don't believe it. But, um, yeah, guys, this is um, his actual Mustang GT. It's a 26... Is it not a GT? Okay, his Mustang... His Mustang EcoBoost. Whatever. Um, you can follow him on his Instagram, at gypsymustang. At Gypsy Mustang. Look, I'm about to name you out like a website. Yo, what up? It's just... Go to gypsymustang.com. But um, yeah, so the first thing you gotta do is obviously take off the bumper. And right now we're figuring out how to get through the firewall. We're trying to find the grommet, either driver's side or passenger side, so we can install the switch into the cockpit. And then switch goes out to the relay, relay goes out to the battery, battery goes out to the LED, so on and so forth. Yeah, Aaron knows all of this because he's done it to his car already. That's why I'm having him help me out do it with my car. Whatever. So yeah, basically do it for my car. Um, we didn't buy a kit, like a company's kit, like a Op 7. We just literally bought everything separately off of Amazon. And we're just basically gonna do everything by hand. Yeah. yeah. Does it save you money? Probably like five, ten dollars but. I'd say like 20. All right, 20 dollars. What, does all this cost you what, 20 bucks? No, it probably cost me like 30. No, yeah, so 35. USOL. But yeah, so. We'll give you some updates as we go through. What did we do, Aaron? Let's cut the video. <laughs> <laughs> so we we fed the cable through where? We fed the cable through the steering column grommet, which is like that big, but not through the actual steering column, which is in the center. We fed it through the bottom, so it's out of the way. We're gonna secure it to one of the lines behind the firewall. That way it doesn't get into the way of the steering column. So that way it doesn't tangle up when you're driving. Right now, I'm just trying to feed it through trim, just to make it look pretty and out of the way. And your trim's being a pain in the butt. That's what he does. So, update. Video. So, <laughs> what we have done now is we fed all the wires, right, through... We, felt we fed the switch wires through the firewall. Yep. Up to the relay, attached the relay to the battery harness. We have both ground for the relay and the switch attached to ground, and power for both the switch and the relay to power. Prettying, th prettying this up, that way nothing's in the way, so we put all the extra wire between the firewall and the battery. Fuse goes right here, relay feeds down into here, up to the front, and then cut these off, attach our own wire, soldering it, and then attaching the LEDs to here and here, that way it illuminates the radiator and the air cooler. He's a magician, <laughs> like, no, but like actually he's a magician. So if you ever want to book him for birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, weddings, bar mitzvah, bar mitzvahs too, funerals, what? <laughs> um, yeah, because he also does hypnosis. So, okay, so we rip, we took off the bumper. Obviously, we did all the connections or whatever. Oh shit! Oh my god! I almost thought the solder was there. <laughs> um, and basically what we did, we laid the LEDs right <laughs> under this panel right here and we basically put 3m on top of the adhesive just because these leds probably have sucky adhesive so we want to make sure they stay on so yeah wait you want to say something so <laughs> um and then we took positives and negatives of these two leds attached them to here so positive and negative got these two leds over here so i'm going to solder this in a moment Attach these to the here and then put two more LEDs under here in front of the intercooler. Attach them to here as well and attach this to the positive negative to the relay and then we're all done. Hopefully. After we put the bumper back on. After we put the bumper back on. <laughs> I'm just gonna go home like this. Yep, pretty much. Okay, so we put LEDs down here as well so it could shine on the inner cooler 
and then we obviously have the four LEDs up here. Now we're all done connecting the cables, so now it's time for the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Bam! Good? Yeah. Good job. Looks real good. <sighs> so now it's time to put the bumper back on and call it a day. <laughs> All right, time for the big reveal. Are we gonna do da da da, da or? <laughs> uh, I don't care. Da Just. Da da da. That's it. It looks really good. Really, really good. Yeah, all thanks to that dude. Well, hey, I'm here. Hell yeah. I can't believe it on. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like how like the LED glares off the piano. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, like this video, subscribe, and check out uh, Aaron, Aaron's Instagram, Gypsy Mustang. And yeah, I'll have a link in the description. But yeah, YouTube, we'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching.